for me, and I'm just trying to capture it. It just came off awkward. So go ahead, continue telling your story, fourth graders. Anyway, these fourth graders. And... He actually confided in me. I mean, it's that, that father-son feeling I've been dying for. So one thing you got to know about Will Ferrell um, breaking down this movie, Daddy's Home, in case you, uh, in case you are late, um, Will Ferrell, um, you can look this video up on YouTube, but he has a little girl, and there's a YouTube video out, you know, that appeals to basically the insanity or the mental health issues that uh, basically his little girl, uh, maybe like three or four years old at this time, um you know, would be susceptible to having just crazy mental health issues um, at that. So his character or his role in this movie has to portray basically like a uh, father uh, in the mother, in the motherly role, because he, he has a, like this, this would be his daughter's um, personality right here, except at a heightened rate. So she'd be more mildly depressed than completely, uh, you know, hyper and everything. So like the, if you check out the video um, of his little girl. But yeah, I mean, you just gotta know. You just gotta like follow. Uh, you gotta know what role they're playing. For it was even better than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, I mean, he really needed me. Me. That is so great, honey. He even said not to tell you. Well, I'm actually totally betraying his trust right now. What are we gonna do with those little snot-nosed fourth graders? Oh, I think it's gonna be fine. Yeah, he's gonna try to do some some trust falls on the playground. Really? You think that's gonna work? As long as they catch him. Yeah. Hey, Brad. Yeah. If I ask you something, you promise you won't cry again. Of course, sweetie. What is it? Well, school they told us about this thing. And it's so he's a, he's a stepdad in this. So, do you want to go with me? <laughs> You said you won't cry, Brad. I'm not. I'm begging yes a million times yes. I thought big people weren't supposed to cry. I think it's sweet that he's crying like a little bit. <gasps> Megan, you are not supposed to call people that word. You know what? It takes a real man to show his emotions. That's also, uh, <laughs> she's from Juno. You know, the she was the pregnant one. She got knocked up. So you're going to see a lot of characters in this. <laughs> Finally becoming a family. I'll get it. After being pushed away and treated like an outsider, I was finally becoming so a family. So, mom, stepdad. Daddy! Bye! Where are you? Where's Cameron? Is that gunfire? Cool! Daddy, daddy, I want to talk to daddy. Hi, daddy. Good? So, your ex is calling, huh? What a treat for the kids. It's been a long time. Yeah. Yeah. We're watching a really funny movie with mommy and Brad. Oh, Brad's mommy's new husband. Wait, he doesn't know about me? Well, I haven't talked to him in six months. We've been married eight months. Brad, daddy wants to talk to you. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't. You don't need to do that. Brad, don't. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Oh, well, Gussie, super to make your acquaintance. In fact, I just wish I could uh, shake your hand and offer to buy you a cold one. Tomorrow? What? Yeah, I, I guess I could pick you up. Hmm? It's Whitaker. W-H-I-T-A-K-E-R. <laughs> now, I, I'm not comfortable giving you my social security number. Um, uh, okay, uh, yeah, my credit score is 752. I'm very proud of that. <laughs> I'm sorry? What sort of fighting styles am I proficient in? I don't know if I've ever been asked that before. Hello? Dusty, hello? Hello? <laughs> I lost him. What just happened? Did you just invite him to come here? Well, I didn't... Is he coming tomorrow? I didn't know he accept my offer so soon. I mean, he re really jumped at it. Remember when I said he was like Jesse James and yeah. Mick Jagger had a baby? Yeah, I just thought maybe he was really skinny and jittery and had like a little bit of a British accent or something. He's wild and he's crazy. That's why I fell in love with him. And he ended up with two kids. You know, I'm stuck there holding the bag. <laughs> matter how much love or passion or just like you can't breathe without each other like all that stuff is stupid in comparison when you have kids you have responsibilities he doesn't understand that honey this is actually a good thing oh. i'll welcome dusty into our home and we'll establish some kind but firm boundaries all right it's what step-by-step -step dad calls setting up a loving fence a loving fence wow that sounds really great honey 
Put yourself off books I've never met Dusty Mayron. He sounds like a rascal, but I don't think it's anything I can't handle. Check, check, Chinese checkers, check, check, Republic, pop, silly, silly, pop, one, two, six, seven, check, 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 check. What do you got for me, Greg? Oh, Mr. Hulk, hello. Uh, well, so this is, if you look into my playlist, Reza, this is going to, this guy, Mr. Uh, Chief Executive Officer of, what would it be, the American Embassy, you know, that just, just look under my, uh, my playlist of Reza and, That'll tell you a lot about this character right here. Thank you. Hopefully the new voice of the panda. Oh, listen, I gotta leave early today. I gotta go pick up my wife's ex at the airport. Jesus, kid, how'd you draw that shit detail? Brad, why do you want this deadbeat in your home? Well, it's not that I want him in my home. It's just that the better step-parenting books say that the worst thing you can do for the kids is to push out the biological. You're in the danger zone here, Brad, and let me tell you why. Kids who grow up without their dads always end up obsessing over them. Most of the hookups that I've had in my adult life have been with women that had daddy issues. Know it all. I don't know if this is an appropriate story. Like, my wife would kill me if she knew I was telling you this. Well, then you shouldn't tell me this. When I met her in Denver, you're going to tell the story, aren't you? She was a topless maid, 99 bucks an hour. Mm -hmm. Never met her father. But who did she meet? Me. And who did treat her like shit? Me. I eventually loved her, but every time she got out of line, I'd just pull the Humvee over and ask her to get out politely, and then I'd drive away. Guess what? She showed up at home every time. This story has no relevance to my situation. Oh, it doesn't at all. It's just a good story. So, Pete, are we going to hear this girl one? 